You look early on the first day of the week. And while I'm here, let me put a pin here on the first day of the week. Because help us get disturbed is saying we don't worship on the Sabbath day. Well, the Sabbath of in the dispensation. We worship on the first day of the week when Jesus Christ got up. Y'all yeah. with me here? Yes, sir. Got up out of the grave. These women went seeking to not Jesus' body. They prepared themselves. They couldn't go on the Sabbath. The feast of the Passover was going on, and they had to wait. But they had to on. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. They made their way to the grave. Mm-hmm. Man. My professor in seminary told me that they already knew because God had gone ahead and told them on this particular day that he would be from the grave. Well, I, I remember he said that I lay my life down in three days. I'll take it up. I, I remember that. But my argument with that theory was, why would they carry the spike if they know he already gone? I don't think they knew he was gone. I think they respect the day, expect the dead body. I think they expected the idea they were going to none of this body was spiked with another beings. But when they got there, if they had known Jesus had risen from the grave already, and, and the angel said this, said, why seek you the living among the dead? Well, if you don't go to the party, you don't go to the cemetery. Wow. <laughs> well, you want to find your girlfriend, you don't go to the cemetery. <laughs> Why seek ye the living among the dead? They were in the cemetery looking for their body. And when they got there, their one word were was that what's going to happen to the big stone in front of the tomb? Who's going to roll away? A lot of times we worry about things when we get there. It's not a problem at all. Yes, Amen. 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 They want to know what will happen to the stuff. And I think I told you last Easter that the stone will roll away. Now, I, I said to you that the stone will roll away not to let Jesus come out of you. Because right. right. if he's a man with all power, uh-huh. If he's the Jesus that he said he was, and I'm afraid that he was, uh-huh. if a rock can stop him from getting up, Come on, you could be Almighty God. Yes, sir. Are you with me today? Yes, sir. The stone will roll away so that the women can come in the tent. Uh-huh. And then when they came in, the angel spoke to him, Why seek you? The dead among the living. He's not dead. Some of you long to breathe, do great things in your life. And somewhere along the line, somebody stole the principles of your life. Don't give up what you believe. All right. They may knock you down, they have to knock you up. Yes, there are certain things that you ought not to do. Help me somebody. Oh, well, I know when you go away to college, you let your hair down. <laughs> I know, I've been to college. I've been to college. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah, well. But there's something. I want to have my brothers talk to me. Uh-huh. I don't have a girl switch those couches. Uh-huh. There was something that I just wouldn't do. Well, right. 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 In life, there ought to be certain things, and, and girls and boys, you hear me today, there ought to be certain things that you ought not to do. Yes. Yes. There are certain lines 
that you just don't cross. Amen. He's not dead. And neither are you. Don't give up on yourself. Amen. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will believe in you. Sometimes other folks believe more in you. You believe in yourself. You all say every now and then I'm a child of the king. Every now and then you all say I'm wonderful. Beautiful. Marvelous me. May not look like Melvin Monroe, but I'm I'm a child of the king. And you don't have to go around this day to yourself. Go around and hide who you are. You ought to be proud of what you are. Yeah. And the reason I said it because God made you what you are. Yeah. 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 If you show up, you all stand tall. Yeah. <laughs> if you come back like me, you all thanks <laughs> well, Jesus. Died on the cross. My friend and brothers, the resurrection will come about to restore our faith. We have lost faith in what we know. We don't look for tomorrow. We think it's all gone. Unlike the women who went to the tomb, we are encouraged today that the rocks in our lives can be moved. Amen. If there's anything that keeps Jesus from coming to your life, it can be removed. Amen. And I don't know about you, I'm glad that Jesus has come into my life. Yes. Amen. Thank you. The empty tomb announced that we serve a risen Savior. Amen. The empty tomb announced that Jesus did exactly what he said he was going to do. Well, right. He said, Dana, I told me. I got all power. Yes, Amen. I'll lay down my life. Thank you, Father. And a few days I'll take it up. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. We have seen Jesus, Ray Lazarus, Tabitha, and others. Yes. But we question the veracity and the truth and the extent of him rising himself. All power be all. Yes, sir. All power. I'm glad today. Yes. I'm glad today that he got up out of the grave. And he lived. Yes. Say them attacked him. Say them tried to stop. And say them knew the way to stop the Christian movement and to kill the head. I told you before about the Johnson egg. I'm not afraid of it. Don't want to kill the Johnson egg, get the head. But let me tell you about another thing. All right. Amen. You see in the forest we grab the snake in the house, under the house. Amen. Amen. Some of y'all think you won't have a snake under your house. Or in your house. They there. Don't worry about it. Don't. They are uh, they are rat eating snake. And, and it, if you didn't have the rat eating snake yet, you have more rats in your house. So thank God for the rat eating snake. Yes. Amen. But when you grab that snake, you beat it to pieces, you, you kill him, he's dead. And that's what Jesus did to Satan. He grabbed him to peace. He's dead to Jesus. But you know one thing about a snake when you kill him? He's still got to whip his tail, got to whip him. Have you seen that before? You can beat that snake to death, but as you walk away, the tail is mm-hmm. Praise God. Mm-hmm. Somebody ought to look at their tail. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ is alive. Yes, sir. All right. They hung out on the cross. Yes, sir. <laughs> they nailed him, nailed him. 
nails in the hands of that other. And he said, if you believe I'll fight you, go ahead and nail my hand. Yeah. Amen. So you believe I'll run and spike my feet. They pitched him in the side. Came water and blood. Water for redemption. Yes. Water and blood to cleanse the sin. Yes. Cover my sin. Hallelujah. I heard Jesus when he said, Go ahead and drive in there. I'll ride with you. Amen. Can't no power on earth can keep it down. Hallelujah. But he said, one thing I, I want you to know, but I want you to not do. Don't bring me up. Uh -huh. If you raise me up, I'll draw all me. They stretch him high and stretch him wide. <laughs> he hung between two feet. Yeah. One thing one said is you are who you say you are. Yes, sir. Why don't you come down for the cross yeah. and save yourself? Yeah. And in the process, save us. Yeah. But the thief on the right side. Come on, doctor. Mm -hmm. Said, leave him alone. Well, he hasn't done anything. Amen. But you and I, we're going to cook all our lives. Amen. Did he look over at Jesus on the cross and said, Not that! When you come to your paradise. When you done talk to Moses, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When you just come to all of them. All the saints that gone on before. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. So will you please do one thing. Hallelujah. I don't want you to stop your program. Just do one thing. Just remember me. Yes. Sir. When you get to the kingdom. Hallelujah. In your prayer. Thank you, Father. Jesus heard that plea. Yes, sir. He heard that plea. Hallelujah. And Jesus put grace. Death. And said, Death stop. And Jesus stopped dying in that moment. Yes. Yes. Look over at the man on his right. Yes. And said, This day. Yes. Yes. Because he won't need it in the moment. Uh -huh. 
enjoyed our morning worship service just a few announcements for our upcoming services on Sunday March 27th we will be observing our Easter morning um, worship program that morning you are welcome to come to our sunrise service that will begin at 6 30 a.m. followed by breakfast coming April 3rd Reverend Kendrick Palmer will be starting our youth Sunday class entitled making a connection a study of the God we worship also, on April 17th, we will be observing our Friendship Day, followed by dinner. Good evening. I'm Pastor James E. Palmer, the University of Memorial Baptist Church. I do hope you've been inspired by the message this evening. We want you to come and share with us here at the University of Memorial Baptist Church. Until then, may God grant all your endeavors today, tomorrow, and forever. Good evening.